everybody welcome back welcome back to our mega modded survival this is anunnaki genesis we're back on the center and uh yeah it's been a little while since our last episode our last episode where we tamed up this guy a very low level frost drake unfortunately a little bit underwhelming we didn't get the one that we wanted we ended up with a level 80 <laughs> yes and I'm already uh, basically talking about uh, replacing it with something far superior to this. This isn't going to cut it. We need something far better than that. Um, but nonetheless, welcome back, guys. Hey, if you went and checked out the little super cuts I uploaded over the past few days, thank you so much. I had so much fun revisiting a very old series from all the way back in 2019. And I hope some of you guys did as well, whether it was a, whether it was a, a revisit or the first time you've ever seen uh, our season seven primal chaos genomes series um it was a it was an awesome thing to go back to 36 hours of footage three 12 hour videos uh hey look if you got the time if you're on holidays if you got the weekend go check it out it's a blast it was a fantastic series um i'm just as much of a noob now as i was back then <laughs> i haven't learned a whole lot but uh thanks to everybody who went and checks that one there out but yes today uh we gotta go and get another one of these i've been looking at what's next for us and what's next for us is these primals i don't know how we're gonna take these things down uh, they are strong. They are really, really strong. And the advice that I've been given is to breed an army of strong alpha dinosaurs. We've kind of got the beginnings of that here with our T-Rexes. Um, they are all very weak, though. Um, and they're going to need amazing saddles as well, unfortunately. The downside is I don't have access to an amazing saddle blueprint just yet. Uh, but we're going to be keeping our eyes peeled for one of those. And hopefully we can find a Rex saddle eventually. This guy here is the alpha um, but I don't know, maybe some, some better armor ones will eventually pop up as we go. We'll just have to wait and see. But this army, we're going to need an army. So I think I'm finally going to bite the bullet. I think we've got the hat. We've got the eggs now to do it. Uh, it's time to get a hatchery. No, I'm four dinosaur eggs short. Hold on a second. Really? You guys sure you don't have any eggs through here? I just picked a bunch up. I know that we're so close. Hold on. You guys laying eggs all the way down here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Two three i need one egg i need one more rex egg that's all i need that leaves us with 18 eggs can i use just like fertilized eggs it seems like wrong to do it but i'm gonna try yeah 20 eggs bam <gasps> i don't have the inventory space to pick up what 500 thatch and 50 uh, keratin i beg to differ um oh gosh thatch i need 500 thatch Give me that 500 thatch. Thank you all very much. And then keratin. Ah, I don't actually know if I've got. Yeah, we do. All right, pull that across as well. And then we can craft up. Nothing. Is our weight capacity? Oh, that's what's going on. I got to equip my armor. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm silly. I, yeah, okay. My armor lets me carry a lot more weight. That's what it is. Bam. There we go. We can get our hatchery at last. And this here is basically going to collect fertilized eggs for us. I'm going to place it next to the farm here. Um, this stuff is all going to be moved eventually because this is what I spent the last week working on. Uh, not the base, clearly, but setting up my, my my stream setup, I suppose. So I'm hoping to do... I don't know. I might do a live stream one day this week. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. But I really, really, really want to stream some building with you all and do a bit of in-work. I don't know. Just stream a bit of a, an episode live with you guys on YouTube. So stay tuned for an announcement or just to see something pop up on youtube i guess <laughs> it might be a little bit uh impromptu but uh we'll see how we go there uh yeah the stream thing it's all kind of coming together really nicely so that's really awesome anyways this thing here is picking up eggs now i need to go and get a few of these guys um together to start making some babies but i don't know who it's gonna be i'm not even gonna bother looking into that i can do that on my own there is something else though that i did want to look into i've learned a new blueprint um the chainsaw it's time for us to get a chainsaw if I can afford it, which I am missing some resources for. Lovely. Electronics. Which I don't actually know. Yes. Okay. We can get the 25 electronics, get a chainsaw. And the reason I want this is because I want to use it to hack dinosaurs' bodies apart. <laughs> it sounds horrible when I put it like that. But we need the extra height and the extra blood to get, um, well, more treats. So I can tame up another one of these guys. That's basically it. I need another one of these guys. And I can't decide whether or not that is going to involve taming up a uh a poison poison drake 
if I get a poison drake to then help us knock out uh, other drakes, I could probably do it very easily with one of these like very low level ones. And I reckon these guys would do a ridiculous poor poor. Or we go once again for something like a poison Argentavis. There are a lot of them in the world. We've already tamed one. They're cheap. It's probably the right answer. This time we just try not to get it killed. Because we, we got our previous one killed pretty darn quickly. I could knock that out so I could tame that thing in a, in a flash. I could tame it in a flash. In fact, that's probably what we're going to have to do. But anyways, chainsaw for now first. Uh, there you are. Bam. 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 Chainsaw drafted up. And that there, I'm hoping, is going to allow us to harvest a ridiculous amount of alpha hide and uh, alpha blood from some creatures. We're going to test this out straight away. I want to see if this thing actually works. So give me that one there, Frosty boy. Come with me, my friend. Let's just glide on over here. I did a little bit of slaying earlier. Um, just, just killing a few things that were around the place. There was a few tracks and dodos and such. We have a prime alpha dodo living just over here. What's crazy though. Why is it? Oh, no, no. good. All right, buddy. How you doing? Uh, so the good thing here is we, we do like a really good damage on a headshot. Um, we still get messed up by these totos though. That's the only problem. And that's kind of the, the problem that we're currently, currently having happening. Uh, we're currently experiencing the Drake though, in good news has a really good, uh, kind of area of effect. Um, it, it can hit, I don't even have to get close to the thing and I can hit it. So that there is fantastic, but let's have a look. Oh, I didn't bring gasoline. Ah, oh, I got to fuel this thing. How could I forget? Amateur. Big old amateur right here. Yeah, I forgot we need, uh, we need a little bit of gasoline for this thing. So let's just hop on over here where my guy is crushing our generator. Um, shouldn't need much of it. Chuck it on the hot bar. All right. And let's head back out there and see. See what we're harvesting. I'm really hoping we just pull like a couple hundred blood straight out of this. But at the same time, I'm not holding my breath. All right. Uh, I think that's decent. I think that's better than it would be otherwise. But it's probably nowhere near as good as it would be if we were like using it on a mammoth. So maybe I'll have to go and use it on something a little. Oh, a bit more there. It's not bad. All right, all right, do, 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 do. Where are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, come, come down here. Come down here. I'm right here, please. Right here. All right, let me go test this on something that's like proven to give an amazing stack of resources. It's going to be some, yeah, I guess like a mammoth. The alpha mammoths are absolutely ridiculous for this exact purpose. So let's see if we got any, any of them immediately around us. All right, fantastic. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of them nearby. That's awesome. And there's also got some prime alpha mammoths as well. But these guys got a lot of health. We got a uh, prime alpha rhino. No, thank you. Just an alpha woolly rhino? That's just a regular woolly rhino. I, I looked at it. I, I, I did look at an alpha. I don't know where it went though. Um, hmm. I don't want to like bite off more than I can chew, you know. But I think we're going to have to here. Take down one of our own kind. Why not? Actually, that's a good thing. You're not going to harvest it though, are you? You let me do that? You're a mammoth after all. Mammoths don't eat dragons. All right. And the reason I'm interested. In... Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What are you doing, champ? Why? Why? Can you just go over there, please? <laughs> oh, I'm totally going to die down here. All right, hold on. Look, I reckon... I reckon the chainsaw does good. Dude, that's amazing. 760... Hide just from that. Um, come over here, dude. You're gonna get. I might actually be able to sneak in here. Eee. Nailed it. All right, let's go. Take this big fella down. Dude, I reckon this might give us a good 600 blood. We'll have to see though. Because if it does, we're gonna be able to, like. Oh, dude, dude, just leave it to me. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Cool it, man. Just cool it. Did you at least get... Yeah, you, you stole some of the resources. So we didn't even get to, like, properly check. 
But uh, thanks for interrupting my experiment. Um, dang it. That's a, that's a, uh, oh, hello, monkey. Prime Alpha Carno. That probably gives us a good amount of resources as well, but it's not what I'm looking for. We got gorillas out here. These guys are, these guys are dangerous as well. All right, let me get rid of this thing. I don't know if he's going to actually hook us up with any resources or nothing, but yeah, nah, they're pretty, they're pretty disappointing, those guys. You, on the other hand, it's time to die. All right. Now, Drake, do not get involved. Let me do my thing and just harvest this guy and see what we pull from it. 100 bloods, 300 hides. Okay, this is going to be good for saddles. 200, 200 blood, 300 blood. Yeah, this is what this is. That's what I'm talking about. Th like nearly 400 blood, 700 alpha hide. That's really good. So seriously, I just fly around, kill a bunch of alpha mammoths, and we are set. Unfortunately, a bunch of the ones that came up here to kill have died since. So I uh, didn't even get to get the kill on all of them. Someone beat us to it. I think it's all these frost drakes that are just over spawning everywhere. But not much we can do about that. Just imagine if this drake we're flying around on was level 900, the way it's meant to be. We would be dealing so much damage. And I guess that's kind of like what we want in the end. I want, I think we're going to need the level 500 plus drake. It's going to be probably a fire drake. Frost is good, it slows the creatures down, but it's it's got nothing on, I think the fire, I, I think we need that fire damage. I think that is the gist of it basically. But anyways, let's head back home. Um, I'm going to get us a poison treat and we are going to, we, we're going to get another poison, uh, tame basically. It's simple as that. I, I still can't decide if it's going to be a poison drake. I think it's just going to, I think we're just going to sell on a poison RG. I think that just makes the most sense, uh, from what we've seen here, but bam, give me one of those. Um, I got two treats here as well. I'm probably going to use those on an alpha treat and then going to need a little bit more blood get my hands on this one and some silica pearls and some golden treats and some cooked prime meat okay i need a few things then unfortunately all right get that in there um we've probably got some resources laying around yep all those across as well awesome all right oh and i got a sedative on me i'm pretty sure as well i do okay cool well let's head over to the volcano because that is where this poison argy resides. Oh my goodness. Hey, <laughs> Primordius, where did you come from? Okay, that's uh, kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize, I didn't realize Primordius was out here. That's nuts. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Quick poison Argentavis. You guys have witnessed me do this many a times. Oh, I reckon the high level one I came in. Oh, he's over there. That's right. He's actually not in the volcano. He's near the volcano. In that case, I think what I'm going to do... Ooh, black pearls. Yes, please, and thank you. Yes, give me that. I can break that down. These gauntlets are almost as good as mine, too. I can actually smash a lot of these up for good resources. So I'm going to do that. Um, and you, my friend, let's go and pick you up. And then we're going to glide. Okay, it was around here somewhere. But it may have despawned. There's also a dragon out here. You, you probably killed it, didn't you? Yeah, I don't see it anymore. <laughs> Why isn't it? It's not here anymore. Oh, man. All right. We either go over to the center then and look over there instead. Or there is a you know, slightly lower level just over here. That dragon's totally going to come for me, ain't it? Yeah, I was going to say. I got way too close to that dragon. Go, 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 go. All right. We're good. We're good. We can get out of here. All right, let's keep moving. <gasps> and what it's all about. There he is. Primal Brew Mother. I think got 7 million health. And I reckon we would have a bit of a damage buff against it. Because sometimes that's just the way things work against bosses. So I reckon... I still think we've got no chance. <laughs> we, just, we just need to get our Alpha Rex army ready to go. Because they're probably all going to get one shot along the way as well. Which is obviously going to be less than ideal. But it's going to be expected. Oh, we got some poison RGs. Here they are. All right. Now, in case you don't recall. Oh, wow. Hold on, like wedged myself up here. Wasn't going for that, but sure. In case you don't recall, though. We're pretty good against these things. 
They can't knock us out because my armor makes us really strong. What is that? There's a fire something cruising around. I think it's, it's a kangaroo, but it's on fire. <laughs> uh, probably like we're going to be at some point today. All right. There you go, RG. Follow me. Over here, buddy. Now, I want you to get behind me. Yeah, I want you to go like... I want you, I want you here. I want you right there in front of me. That way, when you inevitably get upset with me and try and fly away... You'll fly into the rock. Probably a little bit wishful. Maybe here? Alright, I suck at this. You know what? Maybe I just sandwich myself into the rock for now. That seems to be the smarter choice. Works a lot more efficiently. You guys have seen me do it many times. You know what we're doing right here. You know what this is. You know what this is all about. We're halfway. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, he's kind of stuck up there. Oh, okay. Oh, he's like... Oh, is that good though? Yeah, he's like... Oh, this is good. Maybe. Am I going to be able to get to you if I knock you out though? Oh, dang it. He got out. All right, that's a shame. All right, we're getting close. The downside is... Getting to that point, he's going to fly away. He's not going to want to engage us anymore because he's in fear of... Yep, there it is. There it is. We knew it was coming. Oh, gosh. Glide, glide. All right, we got a little hit on it then. Just going to swoop back around. Give it another little bounce. I'm going to try and make sure this doesn't... We, we don't want to repeat of yesterday where we knocked our Drake out in like the worst possible location, basically. And there's a lot of terrible locations around here. So let's just... I mean, as long as it's not in the water down there, I'll be happy. Uh, but there's also a lot of dire wolves and saber tooths and other stuff that can get in our way around here. So that would also be kind of bad. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, we're close. We're close. Ooh, it's like rivers up here. All right, can I get to you? Can I get to you? Come back. Come back. Come back. I think I got two hits on him then. 5,000 more torpor to go. Oh, there's another one. 4,000 left to go. Come on, buddy. Maybe I should just do this to the Drakes. Maybe this is how we knock out the Drake. But I think they've got a lot more Torpor than this thing does. All right, here we go. 50,000 Torpor. <gasps> Dragon. Stay away from that thing. Dude, can you just like... Can you just sit still, please? We're so close. Might just be able to shoot you from here. One. And... Oh, no. Not the swamp. Not the swamp. That's not where we need you to go. But it's going to happen here, isn't it? Did I miss him just then? Yeah, I really don't want this in the swamp. I'd rather the bottom of the... I'd rather all the way down there if it has to be down there. And that's where we're going to be doing it. I hope it's shallow. I don't feel like going to the bottom of the sea. Especially now that we got these, like, crazy fish monsters. They're kind of terrifying. But here we go. That just worked out not too bad. Going to waste a sedative on it. And then... I'm just going to wait for the sedative to do its thing, actually. Because I don't want this thing to have its torpor, like, really high. Because that's what we always end up doing. So he's going to let it sit for a second. Give it its treat. And we are good. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. Now it's time to scoop you up. And... We got to go get our Drake now. All right, big fella. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta. I gotta make sure we don't get this thing killed this time. I should really. Do I even have a saddle for this thing anymore? I don't think I do. I think. I, I think we lost that when our original one died. Um, but have a look. This is where I basically get my flowers from these days. Rare lance. Actually, this might be better than. Nope, not quite as good as mine. Salvage. Bam. Look at. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Fantastic. Love to see it. Um, anyways, we need a little bit more blood, um, and we need to go hunting real quick for some silly capels. Uh, I also got to get myself an RG saddle. I'm going to get on the grind for all of that. Um, and then hopefully we'll go and get this Drake. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to just 
I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just head out and try and knock the drake out first. There is literally one one drake in this world. It's a fire drake. It's this guy right here. Also, I just realized when we when we overlook at dinosaurs, it actually gives us the stats. That's new. That's in the recent update. We never had that before. So that's that's really cool. All right, awesome. Uh, along the way as well, I'm going to get this guy some levels. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll try and find like an alpha T-Rex or Kano or something to slowly chip away at. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Our RG here has what it takes to get us an actual high-level fire drake. Oh, hey, big fella. <laughs> no, thank you. So, we have actually had quite a bit of luck on our search for beaver dams. Um, I basically went and searched all of the beavers on the map and uh, tracked them to their homes and then tried to find beaver dams nearby them. And I probably missed a few along the way, but we have ended up with a net of uh, a lot of wood, 1,200 cementing paste, uh, 63 flowers, and 97 silica pearls. I think that might actually be the perfect amount. Hold on a second. I, 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 knew, I know that we needed 90-something silica pearls, so we might have actually ticked that box completely unintentionally, um, which would be absolutely amazing. If so, and that means I just got to go chainsaw a few alphas and we're set. You know what I think would make just a lot of sense as an overall kind of addition to this mod? I, I feel like these boss dinosaurs or prime alphas, whatever you want to call them, um, I think they, I feel like they should be dropping silica pearls because silica pearls seem to be a very utilized resource um, across, across the board. Um, yet all of these dinosaurs drop black pearls, which like any other time would make a lot of sense. But since everything kind of requires silica pearls instead of black pearls, it, it would just be amazing to see things drop silica pearls <laughs> just to kind of like ease that requirement just a touch. Uh, but anyways, it's kind of going to accept it for what it is. At this point, that is a Prime Alpha Kano. I reckon that would be a pretty good thing to fight, actually. Might get the jump on us. But if I can just sit here, we'll be done with it in no time. All right, turkeys. It's time to give up those golden treats. I got no idea the difference between these two, but... Oh, there we go. 10,000 damage on both of them. Dude, that's amazing. I don't even know why we're dealing so much damage, but I'll take it. Um... Our fire damage does... Oh, 16,000 if I actually go down and hit them. But if they hit me, I'll probably die. That's the only problem there. Is it worth it? Probably not. Um, but... Speed things up a little bit. We'll get, get a little bit more fire breath in there. I think one of them's dead. Yo, there we go. There we go. All right. Golden treats. So you got some. 172. And then 344 total. All right. That takes care of that. Nice. <gasps> Are we going to bleed out here? Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, a bit sketchy there. I don't know if you realize, though, killing that tech raptor, I think it was. We got some electronics out of that, so that's awesome. We also got a tech, a, a chibi tech parasaur. Let's go. All right. Well, after a lot more messing around, we finally got what we need. Drake treat acquired. Uh, we're still going to need a sedative. I'm missing an energy brew. Oh, no, wrong one. This one. That's what we need. I always get that wrong. Oh my gosh. Every time. Bam. Got that there as well. And then whatever extra health potions I can afford, which is three, we're going to craft those up as well. And that is going to hopefully keep us alive long enough to get this tame. Um, the only other thing we could really do to better prepare ourselves for this is uh, <laughs> level up this RG because this RG is not leveled up at all. Um, and to do that, oh, like I could just go kill... I don't think I've got any more Alpha T-Rexes, though. Alpha T... Oh, yes, we do. This one right here. Bam. Over there. All right, perfect. Yep, we're going to go kill that. And that should get us pretty close to maxed out. I'm going to go quickly kill that, level ourselves up, and then it's time to go for a Fire Drake. Now, the downside here, unfortunately, is that uh, this RG ain't going to deal much damage. It's not meant to do... Oh. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Ooh, Hello. I don't think we've seen one of these guys before. Warden of the Sky. Cool. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this guy, uh, which unfortunately is going to take me a lot of time to kill. Uh, what I should do is probably bust out a... Uh, yeah, I should probably... Oh, man. Yeah, I should probably go and grab one of my uh, my other dinosaurs to wear this thing down. But 
you know what i'm here we're just gonna wear it down bit by bit our rg here isn't meant to be a damage dealer so it's basically you know you get what you get um yeah let me go kill this thing we'll, we'll down some health potions sorry experience potions along the way get a get this guy nice and maxed out and then it's time for the drake all right we got this guy like a hit or two from dead so it's time for us to drop our experience potions and finish the guy off just like that grab some prime meat because we're going to need it eventually for some other things and 73 levels just like that i think that's maxed out so what do we want probably a little bit of health i don't know how much 50,000 health hopefully will be enough to cut it and then just damage and obviously it's not for damage it's more for dealing more torpor than anything you know what give me you know what? actually this guy gets quite a bit of health so we'll put the health in just to keep us a little bit more sustainable give my friends the health potion i'm gonna put the rest on my hot bar that way we can activate it and keep us nice and healed and now it is time to tame the one and only fire drake on this entire map level 520 female fire drake oh no oh no i got a little bit too close to it oh no i wasn't ready uh but here we are it's time to to knock out a fire drake i suppose uh we are not in a good place to be doing this either unfortunately i wasn't ready i wasn't ready i was nowhere near the thing i was just ah okay whatever it is what it is and it's raining too um this thing seems to deal decent damage but not like deadly damage so we might be okay yeah there it goes three and a half thousand with that one there um oh man i just don't know the best way to do this we're lucky we've got potions up our sleeve um would that be best to i actually have no clue how to do this because he ha has a really good area of effect so he just hits us it doesn't miss and i miss i'm missing a lot of hits right here i think i'm actually gonna try to lure it down here if it, if it if it chases us good but this seems to be look i don't know i don't like the water obviously but at least we're away from a lot of the dangers up there so that, that should be good at least right into this cliff if i could get it like kind of like we did with the rg earlier if i can get it kind of trapped in against us here somewhere that'd be great but they just move around a little bit too quick and they do a lot of damage and we're getting that kind of butt whooped here too yeah i'm not even hitting it oh my goodness where is he all right why am i okay health potions going in back to max health all right gotta hit on it. missed it that time though what in got it that time all right we, we do good torpor when we actually hit the thing but we just don't hit the thing actually no, now we're doing good now we're doing good we just got to time it perfectly yeah we do really good torpor oh that wasn't so good but at that time 25,000 torpor I'm, I'm not trying to climb up here either i want to keep this guy low to the ground so we can like control where it lands when we eventually do get the, the knockout we're halfway there and we've got plenty of potions i think we got this as long as i just keep my head <laughs> keep my head on my shoulders and we keep doing what we're doing here we shouldn't fumble this we're two thirds it's two thirds down Forty-one thousand torpor got another hit got another hit not quite that's another one Fifty thousand torpor 53 57 ish or thereabouts that's gonna go 60 here we go like two more hits one and he's still coming too let's go and bam <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness oh and he's right here oh that's not good how am i gonna get to that okay this is a bit tricky but i do have a grapple on me or i can just land right here oh perfect all right there we go oh my goodness my guy you have no idea i should have just gone for you yesterday shouldn't i but open you up i might not even use the sedative here because we've got this in such a safe location i might just wait for the health to drop it doesn't even have to oh i had to drop 150. you know what i'm feeling extra lazy take that i'm gonna wait for the torpidity regeneration to wear off that way it's not receiving torpor once it's already tamed up and just like that you can have your treat and we have ourselves a level 779 fire drake 
I just don't have any saddles on me, unfortunately. So we are going to have to take you home. I do want to just, I do want to just take this thing for a tiny, quick test drive really, really fast. Just to, I don't know, kill a creature. Just one creature. Not much. I don't want to do much with it. Just to see what it's capable of. But, uh, wow. We did it. We did it. It wasn't our first choice. It kind of wasn't even our second choice. But we got us a nice, strong fire drake. And I think that's all that matters. So. I'm right here, my friend. Let me introduce you to our other drake. Um, and then hopefully I can get you a better saddle eventually too. And that'll... That'll keep you... That, 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 that'll, that'll keep you alive. Or at least increase your chances of survival. Now let's quickly go give something. Tiny nibble here. I don't even mind what it is. Okay, so that's base damage. Fire breath. Fire breath. Oh my goodness, 12,000? Is that normal? Alright, so 6,000. And then it's gonna... 30... Wait, fire breath do headshots? Oh my goodness, that is... <laughs> okay, that is the best damage we've dealt yet. By a long shot, too. That's insane damage. Oh, I've finally got like a farming dinosaur. I can take this guy around and just farm whatever I like. And to make matters even better. Well, you know, if I if I combine this with my chainsaw, it'd be it'd be even more spectacular. But to make matters even better. What we can end up doing, if I decide to do it, once we get this guy nice and maxed out level-wise, let me just hop over here really quickly because what I have in here is the blueprint to a very nice Drake saddle. We've got this one here. 3,000 Drake hide ain't that expensive. The silica pearls are a bit sucky. But then we got this one, um, which requires 20,000. <laughs> Everything else is very obtainable. 20,000 Drake hide. I don't know about that one there just yet. But chainsawing the Drake earlier got us like a, like 700. So it's, it's like 25 Drakes I got to kill. We can get that. That has how much armor exactly? 560 armor. That's going to make this guy unkillable. I use that phrase very, very meaninglessly. Because it will probably die regardless. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're ending it here. If you did enjoy the video, then please go ahead and push that thumbs up. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.